Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinow with Vision for Life, and I want to show you today a couple of tests that we've been posting on Facebook, and you've been seeing some results from kiddos in our office, so I'd like to talk about it a little bit more. This is a visual attention span field test, and I want to just highlight one of our newest rising stars in the office, um, and one of our uh, patients who's been with us for a while. We're going to go over a patient who's been with us for a while. This is Jordan. And when Jordan first came into the office, this was the amount of area that she could visually attend to in detail, that her brain was really okay with accepting attending to detail, when she first began her photosyntonic journey with us and vision therapy. And then just last week, this is Jordan's newest visual attention span field test. You can tell, obviously, from the other one, comparatively to this one right here, that it's grown huge. It's really big in comparison. This is awesome. It really has a lot of positive results to it, and I'm going to show you Austin's as well. Austin is brand new to us. He hasn't been with us for very long. And this was Austin's first visual attention span field. Kind of much like Jordan starting off, it's really, really small and restricted. And then as we look at his from just a couple weeks of photosyntonic light therapy, we notice that it's getting much larger, and we'll hopefully see that he progresses as well as Jordan did in his light therapy journey. But as you can tell from going from this little small area to this one, it's bigger. Well, what does that mean? It means that at first he had like this little bitty teeny tiny tube of vision to stare through right here. And Austin did not like to read. He was struggling in school. He was having all kinds of problems that they were really concerned about. And just since this opened up a couple of weeks, Mom reports that Austin is reading more, he's enjoying it more, he's tackling new things more, and excited about learning a little bit more than what he has been in the past. And that the ease of reading has just kind of grown exponential for him. So that's super exciting for us. It definitely tells us that this little bitty tube of vision, it's really hard to be a good reader with that. But when you open it up and get a larger tube of vision, more like a pipe or a huge funnel, then it's a lot easier to do the task of reading. For more information about photosyntonic light therapy or what we do in vision therapy, look us up on the web at visionforlifeworks.com. Thank you.